What is going on guys, it is Quich, and I'm going to be showing you how to improve your blacksmithing clothing and woodworking under the main skill line craft. And what this is mainly for is for people who have higher level accounts and want to improve their crafting skills in a lower account. And there's two ways to do this right now for what I have. And the first way is going to be farming slash grinding an area of enemies which drop high loot, enchanted loot high level loot pretty much to sum it up so right now I'm killing these victims and they've been dropping high level enchanted loot which is going to be good for my other account because he's a lower level and if you don't know already when you deconstruct higher or enchanted armor or weapons it increases your skills in those fight a lot and I'll be sure when I log on my other account how much it increases it already has increased because I've done this multiple amount of times and I've got my blacksmithing up to like 12 already and I'm only at level 18 so that's pretty good it's a good way to improve it because you'll be wasting your time trying you'll be wasting your time time trying to deconstruct your leveled armor or weapons because it'll go up a very little amount while deconstructing higher level enchanted equipment is much more efficient Alright guys, I'm back, and this is going to be my second way of how to improve your blacksmithing, clothing, and your woodworking. So, this is pretty similar to the first way, which is grinding. But if you don't have time for grinding, and you have the ignit and the money to buy, and the styles, of course, money to buy, like the ignits, if you haven't already gathered them, you're going to want to make high-leveled armor, weapons, staffs, shields, whatever you're trying to get to improve. And you're going to want to make as many curuses, anything you want to decraft. I suggest curuses. For some reason I feel like if you decraft that you'll get more experience, but I don't think it matters. You're going to want to make as many curuses you want, depending on how much you want to gain your skill in. And going into further of both ways to do it, you want to, if you have any things to improve your armor, you want to improve them. Because de deconstructing armor that's more improved will give you more skill and experience. So, why am I running like this? What the fuck? Do you see this right now? Did you see how I was just fucking running? Alright, well that's off topic anyway, but... Okay, so at the end, you're gonna want to go into your bank after all your hard work. I didn't really make any armor, because I don't have any ignits for my sake, but if you do, there's your second way of Greetings, getting it if you don't, feel it, if you don't have the Not time even to and shut farm. Us down. So, if you, I have a full bank, so I need to withdraw some of this shit. So, let me withdraw some of this shit and deposit all the weapons into my bank all the armor into my bank hold up a second excuse me for that I'm sorry I need to withdraw some of this because my bank's full okay that should be good enough put all of your fucking armor you either made or grinded oh, I missed one okay well that doesn't matter Okay, and what you're going to want to do is log out and go onto your other character. Alright guys, I'm back. So once you've grinded or constructed your high level and enchanted and improved armor, whatever you've done, you're going to want to go to your other account you want to improve your skill on. As you see, this is my new level 3 account. He's a mage, just started out. Doesn't have much experience in blacksmithing, clothing, or woodworking. I'm trying to get clothing up, but doesn't matter it varies if you want to get your blacksmithing woodworking or clothing so you're gonna to want to go to the bank after you deposited all of your shit and you're gonna to wanna to you know go to the bank neither a borrower and withdraw or a all this high level shit without borrowers and lenders, all this high level enchanted improved whatever shit anything. you have just but deposited me. welcome to the bank of and i'm gonna leave that in there because i don't have enough room so and you want to exit out and you're gonna want to go to your blacksmithing area or your constructing area which is where the fuck is it right here okay well that's the woodworking area so all right here's the blacksmithing uh. area perfect so if you're looking to improve your blacksmithing, well, you're in fucking luck, because I just showed you two fucking awesome ways to do that. So, let's see this. Let's see this shit. As you see, I'm a level 1 blacksmith. Let's see what happens after I deconstruct all this shit. Okay, well, that's just fucking great. Hold up a second. I 
need to get rid of all this shit. Make sure you have uh, empty inventory before you do this, or you're gonna run into my hands. All right, so what the fucking shit? My bad, my bad. I'm sorry for my profanity, but this is gonna be bad. Okay, let's see. Start. Look at that. Look at that. Three things, and I'm already at level three. Also, you get all these cool shit from deconstructing the enchanted shit. Shit. Blacksmith and four. Would you look at that, guys? I, I, I deconstructed, like, about maybe 12 things, and I leveled it up three times. Imagine if you... I, that's only 35 minutes of farming. Imagine if you would do an hour or two hours and constructed even more armor. You, you would be able to increase the skill line so much more. Okay, I'm going to be showing you the clothing now. Just to show you some examples, this does work and is very efficient if you want to improve your skills in crafting. Why the fuck did I go all the way around? I'm so sorry. Okay, here's the clothing. Let's deconstruct. I got a lot of fucking armor, so. There's one level. Two levels. Three levels. Four levels. Five levels. And look at that. I just went to one to six. And all that. 35 minute farm. Five levels in skill. And the clothing. Isn't that amazing? Okay. And last but not least. I think I had woodworking. I'm not sure where the woodworking is though. The woodworking is... Where is it? Why the fuck did that have to have woodworking all the way over there? Who knows? Okay, let's travel to the woodworking place. Okay, I'm at the woodworking... Okay, this is not the woodworking. This is the woodworking. Okay, let's deconstruct all these bows and staffs I got. Wow, one level one thing. Isn't that sick or what? Already at four. Already five. Holy shit, these staffs are already at almost six. Okay, I'm sorry, but that was just insane. I just I deconstructed ten things and went up five levels. Alright. So, there you go. Wow, my game can't even progress how much skill I've already got. So I deconstructed about the same thing. For, well, I didn't have much blacksmithing, so the more armor, the more heavy armor and weapons you have, swords you have, the more blacksmithing you get. Medium light armor, you would get more clothing, and shields and staffs and bows, you would get more woodworking. As you can see, I gain skill in all of these really quick. And if I, w I just want to show you an example. If you didn't do this and you tried to deconstruct something around your level, it would not... Alright, well, I'm at the woodworking station right now. If you try to deconstruct light, like Visit something your level markets, and something sure low improvement chan or anything. enchanting, you won't get much skill. You'll get like a very tiny bit of skill. So, those are the two ways to improve your crafting and blacksmithing clothing and woodworking. If you enjoyed this video and it helped you a lot, please leave a like, comment, or any feedback you want to give me. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.